After the customer sales order has been created in the system, we need to deliver the products to the customer. Let me show you how it's done. Now, we can use the sales order we just created to issue a delivery. Again, we can just click on the next step in our sales process and create the delivery. Here, we can enter the customer name and simply click on the copy from, select sales order to see a list of all open sales orders from MaxiTag. I pick the sales order we have just created and click choose to copy the items from the sales order into the delivery. The system will now ask me which exchange rates I would like to use. In this case, I will just choose to keep the original currency exchange rate from the base document and click Finish. The system now copies all the relevant data from the sales order into the delivery. I can now look at the individual tabs for logistics and accounting. I can also add attachments to the delivery, such as quality certificates or similar. Before I add this delivery, I would now like to see the journal entries that were created when saving this delivery. So, I click on Journal Entry Preview. Here, I can see the GL account that this transaction will post to, in this case, raw materials and finished goods cost of goods sold. Now, I can close this preview. I will also like to see the print preview of the delivery note. So I click on the print preview button and the system will show me how the actual document will look like. As a last step, I will now save the delivery and issue the products to the customer.